Hi there guys, welcome back to Dad Play Stuff. So today we're back with another Damon X Machina comprehensive guide video, but this time it's going to be something that's been a long time coming, body modifications. So, if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe, and let's get on with it. Now, this video could be dragged out to an obscene length by me explaining every single little tiny thing. So what I'm going to do is gonna give you a brief annotation of stuff that isn't exactly explained all too well. So for example, first things first, Arsenal Blitz Power. Now what is Blitz Power? It is the damage of the daft little gun that you get as an outer. Increase the Blitz Power, increase the Blitz Range, all of that affects the outer's cannon. Now next up we have the Assault Shift Cooldown, the Wing Shift Cooldown and the Shield Shift Cooldown. Assault is the damage femto buff that you get, Wing is the speed femto buff that you get, and Shield is the shield femto buff that you get. All pretty self-explanatory. It just reduces the cooldown for them by one second. Now, you can figure out a build through here, and I will, at the end, talk about builds, but what we're going to mainly talk about is the special abilities and the unique abilities. Explosion is basically a, well, it causes your <laughs> your arsenal to self-destruct, which sounds bad, because it is. It's not a really, really useful ability, but it is kind of a funny gimmick, and if you want to try and use it somehow, I would heavily encourage it. I love weird stuff, but in most cases, it's just going to get you killed. Um, but we will show these different abilities at the end of the video. Next up, we have the body tier, which is one of the most important tiers. Has a bunch of different cool buffs like your outer HP, which obviously increases the amount of hits you can take as an outer. You've got things like reload speed, random little things like the outer blade and the outer smash, which are basically melee attacks as your outer. Um, they are terrible and I would not recommend getting them. Um, you've got a bunch of other outer utilities here, but to be honest, the biggest thing that you want to go for in this section tends to be your reload speed or your melee range or damage. Um, your outer HP if you're like me and like to fight outside of your, your arsenal, but most people don't, so I wouldn't recommend it. However, the two most important things on this bit um, for most new players is your outer repair and your sky lifter. Now, Outer Repair is a special ability that allows you to repair your arsenal when it is not destroyed. I have to like make this clear. This will not revive your arsenal. If it is blown up, it's gone. You're an outer fighting against a boss. That is, that is the fate you've succumbed to. So, to use this ability, you need to find a space, land your arsenal, drop it down, and heal it. Then and there. Um, do not let it die. But yeah, next up we have my favourite out outer upgrade, the Skylifter. This basically turns you into Iron Man, and we will, again, see that at the end of the video. There's really not much else to explain about it. Turns you into Iron Man, allows you to fly. Next up we have the Leg Tier. Now, not as many cool abilities in here. Mostly it just involves increasing your mobility, the Arsenal's mobility, and you know, general kind of landing recovery, knockdown resistance, that kind of thing. There's really not a huge amount of, you know, nuance to this. There are a couple of cool abilities, like you've got your double jump, which does what it says, allows you to double jump. You also have your air dodge, which when you're jumping, you're able to basically use uh, your boost as an outer to dodge out of the way of attacks. To be honest, this one, since Skylifter became a thing, is absolutely useless. If you're using the Skylifter set, you're going to be able to move a lot faster than this is going to enable you to. So I, I don't think it's worth taking. The one ability that is probably t like viable for anything in here is Blink. Now, Blink is really difficult for me to use, but for people in PvP, and especially for melee builds, this can be life or death. It can also be like broken as hell if you're really good with it. Um, it just basically allows you, instead of boosting in a direction and moving, you literally just teleport in that direction. So as a result, you can then use it to dodge a lot of attacks, and in general it can be a really, really good ability when used well. 
However, if you want to see it used badly, look at the AI of Grief, who is always out of stamina because he blinks like a psychopath. Now, as you progress through the tiers, as you can see, your outer gets upgraded and takes a new form. Now, this is basically the first tier of all the modifications, as you can see. This is just all that bit. So this is the general look. Each of these parts are pretty much taken from the different bits. So for example, as you go along, this will drastically affect your body. This will drastically affect your body. Nothing, nothing. Drastically affect your body. Drastically affect your body. Drastically affect your body. And as you go through that, these different parts manifest. And in each section, you get different types of parts. So this is all from the top section. So if you're wanting these pieces, you pretty much get them from the top. If you're just upgrading for aesthetics. And this is the middle tier. As you can see, you look like some sort of creepy, skinny samurai thing. Um, and that uses the middle tier. I have to admit, this is one of my least favorite looks in the game. <laughs> And now we have the Chunky Boy tier of the body modifications. As you can see, it's very, very bulky. <laughs> it doesn't look all that appealing to me personally, and my personal aesthetics would not let me use this full setup. And the last tier you can see creates this, as I like to call it, Iron Dad. Now what you'll notice on this arm I have a different piece. That's because you can mix and match, obviously. So if you pick certain um, skill parts, basically, in this case, this one, that arm then becomes what you see, Chunky Boy arm. But it's vital towards making a build. You're gonna end up being a little bit mismatched if you're going for specific things on each build. Um, in this case, I was going for this HP thing, so I had to go up and then down as you can see and this is the portion of the video where we're going to show the abilities that you can get first off being blink as you can see it is not the easiest of abilities to control for definite next up we have air dodge again with the Skylifter being in the game, this is pointless, and you'll see that in the near future. Now, this is the repair skill. As you can see, I pull out my little doodad, and I start healing the arsenal. Obviously, it's not got any damage done to it, but it's got quite a fast repair rate, and you can use it as much as you want. The only downside is you need to find a spot to hide. So in this case, in the training grounds, I can just stand in the middle of nowhere and do it. Now, as you can see, Iron Dad is a force to be reckoned with, which makes, when going for outer upgrades, the Iron Dad mode the best there is. Every one of the upgrades just makes you so much stronger, to the point where I don't really care too much about going up against Strize, going up against anything. I am going to wreck them all. Not to mention, you have unlimited ammo. Now, the final ability, and again, the most useless in my opinion, is the explosion. As you'll soon see. Ooh, run for it. I think we need to be nearby. Oh no, it makes me you explode. Well, that was dumb. I always thought it was the arsenal. Oh well. One thing down. Obviously here where we've got infinite HP, it works quite well. <laughs> Boom. Ouchie. Either way, you know, not the best ability in the world. So now we're going to talk about builds. Now there's a couple of different builds that you can use that I would suggest. First off is my Iron Dad build. Now if you want to 
fly around as an outer and kick the crap out of the colossal immortals it's a good way to do it as you can see i've got a lot of increased uh, blitz power and blitz lock on range then we have increased outer hp and generally that whole upper body part is just all outer upgrades including the sky lifter itself which allows you to fly then you have your lower body stuff, which is all about increasing my mobility and reducing the stamina I need to use to evade. And as you can see, these are the tier paths that you want to follow. Now here, instead of increased lock on range, you can actually take the increased blitz power uh, on the tier 3 of level 6 but it's really down to yourself whether you want to be able to attack from a distance or not. Some fights you want the blitz power, some fights you want the range so you can swap between these but in general for the rest of it what you're wanting to try and do is maximize your health, your damage and your speed at all times that pretty much gets you where you need to go with this build. Now, the next two builds are quite similar. One thing I will say for certain is that your headpiece actually doesn't matter whatsoever. All the upgrades in here, apart from the assault, shift cooldown, shield cooldown, you know, all those kind of bits, they're the only ones that matter out of the head parts. The end result doesn't matter at all whatsoever. When it comes to legs, I find that this is my preferred build in general for legs so you've got reduced stamina reduction reduced landing recovery time that one is always going to be an outer ability so it doesn't matter um, increased arsenal boost speed improved knockdown resistance that's an outer thing so you don't want that that's also an outer thing so it doesn't matter and then you come to reduced landing recovery time now if you look at the rest of them it's just things like blink which i'm not a big fan of so in general if you're not going to run a blink build this is probably the best way to go however if you're going to run melee you can take the alternate path of going here and then down here and that's the only reason you would do that for melee um, there's no real reason to run blink on other builds because you have the distance on the opponent and if you're using your feather dodging um, you really don't need to worry about it too much. Now the main build is actually the torso. So this one is a reload build so this is great for sniper rifles, machine guns, assault rifles, anything that has a high fire rate and either a low clip amount or just bursts through the clip quite quickly. So we take the top tier, you're just going for your increased reload speed. Um, as you're going along, you will take up your melee stuff just so that you have the option of having a melee offhand. Um, taking out our HP over active traps or grenades is always preferable because the worst case scenario, if you need to get out, you can survive a bit longer. When it gets to this bit, you can either go one or two ways. You can take the chain attack and then go up there or you can take the repair it really doesn't matter too much unless you're using melee weapons then take the chain attack um, and then go up to the reload speed part up here now if you're going down the melee path the only real difference you're going to be doing here is instead of taking the reload speed stuff you're going to be going for as much melee damage and whatnot as you can so what i tend to recommend is heading down this direction and going for the kind of mid part of the tier so you're looking at going down here going there going across um probably using the hp instead and then going up towards this way so that you end either here or here depending on what way you want this is the kind of end result you want to get to is either these two but you want to follow that path um, obviously there's a lot of different kind of things like chain attacks and whatnot it really just depends on what build you want to run but realistically you can see the melee abilities that are great this current one though great for long range sniping and general kind of shooting and and that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not a huge amount different between the builds. 
in terms of what you can do and in the end some people opt out not to even have the outer upgrades and just have a base character when it comes to how your arsenal performs these don't matter enough that it's going to make you win or lose in the end it's just a you know a little buff if you need it but what i would say is if you're a good player against another good player this can make the difference between a win and a loss. So I would definitely recommend putting some time and effort into your build and finding what you want and what you need in order to get where you want to go. Well guys, that was the video on body modifications and my general opinion of how best to use them, if I'm honest. Um, a lot of them are pretty much terrible, so yeah, I would 100% recommend that you figure out what you want and kind of follow the tips that I've put forth. I definitely think that melee or reload speed are really the only utility for arsenal battles and if you want to you know have an overpowered crazy spinning flying outer the skylifter build is definitely the way to go for that. But anyway thank you very much for watching if you did enjoy the video and you know I informed you please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And hello to everybody that's now probably playing on Steam and the PC in general. Hopefully the community will benefit greatly from that and we'll get a lot more people and a lot more ideas and a lot more variation in the game. Anywho, good night.